What's up guys, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio. And in this demo creator tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use visual effects inside the editor. This video you're watching right now is sponsored by Wondershare. So without further ado, let's get on to the tutorial. So the first effect I'm gonna go over is this green screen effect. Now, if I go to my files, I imported this green screen of one of my animated characters holding up a subscribe button. But I want this green screen to be transparent so the rest of my video can still show. Let's hover over to the effects tab and click and drag the green screen effect over to our clip. As you can see, it's already working, but we have to tweak the settings to make it look just how we want it to. So we can drag up the offset. Let's change it to where we can see her fully. Change the tolerance. I'm gonna drag that all the way up. And the edge thickness, we can edit to our liking. Gonna add a little bit of feathering so it can just look a little smoother and take down that thickness. We can continue adjusting the offset to where we'd like it to be. I'm gonna put it all the way up. Now we can scrub through our clip. And that looks really good. The next effect I'm going to go over is a very essential one, and it's the pan and zoom effect. So all you gotta do is click and drag this pan and zoom effect onto your video, and then you'll see this arrow sort of function appear. To edit how long the pan or zoom will last, just click and drag either point of the arrow. By default, it's gonna pan to the right. To edit the pan and zoom, you can double click this arrow, and then this window will come up. So as you can see, we have this purple window, which says start, which we're currently selected. And we have this green window, which says end, which we can click to select. Right now, the start window is around the entire recording. And this end window is just focused just around this portion with the screen capture window. You can drag around and edit these. Say I want to zoom in on streaming, or maybe I want to start somewhere else. If I want to start from here. I can do that. You also have some default options for pan and zooms. You have zoom in, which will make your start the entire window and the end zoomed into the middle of the window. We have zoom out, which is the opposite of zoom in. And we have pan right, which starts on the left and ends on the right. Of course, we have pan left, which is the opposite. We also have this reverse button. So if, you, if I clicked zoom in, I could always just hit reverse. Zooming in sounds good, so I'm gonna hit okay. Now when we play our video, it'll slowly zoom in according to how long this hour is. Okay, so now that we're zoomed in, how do we get our video back to the way it was? Well, all we have to do is add another pan and zoom at the end. Double click that. And then by default, our start is going to be where we last ended, which is kind of nice. So I'm gonna click on this end window and scale it all the way back up to the original size. Hit okay. I'm gonna resize the pan and zooms according to how I want them to, how long I want them to last. And we're gonna play it. First it zooms in, and then it zooms out. Perfect. Next we just have some cinema blocks, which are nice to give your camera footage a cinematic look. You can adjust the border size, and you can adjust the alpha, whether it shows or not. The next effect is a very, very useful effect, and that's the mosaic effect. You can drag this effect on top of your video and it'll blur out whatever is inside this box. Of course, we can move this box around. We can edit it in the edit tab. So you can edit the intensity and the opacity as well. You also have transform options above. So what is an effect like this used for? Well, an effect like this can be used to blur out something that you didn't mean to record in your video. Say you had some sensitive information in the top window of your video. All you have to do is resize this box to hide whatever you like and then drag it over the area you want to hide. And then as long as this clip is over your video, it'll blur out the information. I do this a lot in DaVinci Resolve, the editor that I use, but it's a lot more complicated there. And this is just a really simple way to hide some information you didn't mean to show. That's pretty much it, guys. I hope you had fun learning how to use Demo Creator by Wondershare. If you have any questions or requests for future tutorials, leave a comment below. Thank you to Wondershare for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.